What is being hailed as a breakthrough for people hoping for a child. A simple technique that promises to double the success rate of the hugely popular fertility treatment known as IVF. A huge jump in the number of babies born and prayers answered. ABC's Lindsay Davis tells us how it works. Risa Levine knows the heartbreak of years of unsuccessful in vitro fertilization, nearly $300,000 worth of attempts. There's no other thing in my life that I can think of that's a greater disappointment. But according to a new British study, this time-lapse video of a developing embryo could be a game changer. Right now, the overall IVF success rate in the U.S. is just 32 percent. But when using these images, researchers say there was a dramatic improvement, nearly doubling the success rate to 61 percent. We can really select and even more deselect embryos based on how they develop. So for embryologists, this is a revolution. The embryos are put into these incubators with cameras that take microscopic pictures every 10 to 20 minutes. The video then allows doctors to intensely monitor any abnormalities and ultimately select embryos with the lowest risk of defects and the highest potential to bring a baby home. Here you can actually see in sequence how the embryo develops that allow you to look at these embryos and tell you whether these are embryos that are likely to implant or embryos that will not. In standard IVF, the embryos have to be removed from their incubators, which risks potential damage, and then they're checked under a microscope just once a day. So only a single daily snapshot is taken, as opposed to roughly 500. It was a small study, only about 70 couples, so the findings still need to be replicated. But it's possible that more and more, this is what baby's first home movie is going to look like. Lindsay Davis, ABC News, New York.